Hey, you busy? No, right, what's up? So, got an update on the uh, the car bait operation. Um, <clears throat> the subject, Pee Wee Herman, that I interrogated, he gave a fake name. Uh, this Elwood Belushi guy, he's dead, I believe. He was in that uh, street race that happened recently. Right. Um, I expected as much, though. Uh, but the forensics got back, and they uh, reviewed the images, and they ran facial recognition. Comes okay. back to a Bill Plaston, Bill which Plaston? also does fit the description. Yes, fits the description. Guy with the beard who got in the car. Um, surveillance footage from the area uh, confirms it as well. It is positively Bill Plaston. Right, this is to do with the detective that shot a suspect as well, Detective Reed. This is the officer involved case, right, from the other day? Yes. Yep, okay. it's the from the car bait operation. Just updating you. All right. Uh, this doesn't leave this room. Detective Reed is on administration at the moment, just because obviously he was involved in an officer-involved shooting. Um, I've talked with IA earlier. They, it seems like it was a clean shoot, but he's just going to be on admin probably till tomorrow. Um, hopefully, a bit cleared in the morning. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, so I guess you're running the operation to Reed. Um, I'll. Mr. Plaston's yeah, uh, This this operation was a joint. You and Reed and Von Lincoln were lead detectives on this wing. Yeah, I believe Von Lincoln's out of state at the moment, so it's just me. Yeah, Von Lincoln's currently um, personal leave. Um, you can run with this. I'll leave you as lead. Um, I'll I'll back you up though, um, just because we're a bit low staffed tonight. Okay. Well. From what I saw, he has a few guns registered, so uh, we'll have to bring in them. Um, uh, so I think I just saw on the MDT, he lives there. down in Vespucci, down at 308, I believe it was, in an apartment yes. building. Yep. Yep. Uh, what sort of guns does he have? I believe it was a pistol and a shotgun that was registered to him. All right, I believe when I came into the office, TR2 was on duty, and there's some other... We'll get some other units down there for some backup, and I guess we'll raid, if that's your plan. Yep, yeah, sounds good to me. Alright, um, you want to do the briefing here, or there's a few car parks and alleyways down there that we can get into, and surveillance, and then get units down there, we can do the briefing there, it's up to you. Um, might be easier here, just to get everyone here. Okay, you're, you're in charge, detective. Alright. All right. Uh, do what you got to do. Um, I just got to finish off this report for Reed um, for his IA investigation. I'm just sending my recommendation of Reed down. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna go get that uh, search warrant officiated. All right. Uh, just contact me when we're ready. Yep. Hey. Are you ready? Yep, we're ready. All right. Okay, so this briefing is for the execution of a search warrant for a Mr. Bill Plaston. I'm sure, as you're all aware, we did uh, do an undercover operation bait car a few days ago, and... Um, we did catch most of the subjects, except one, who was in the vehicle and managed to escape. Um, upon interrogation of one of the other subjects, uh, we were led to believe it was an Elwood Belushi, but on further investigation, uh, we found out that that was a false name, and Mr. Elwood is actually deceased, I believe. So, analysis from the facial recognition from the camera of the vehicle, um, allowed forensics to find uh, a Mr. Bill Plaston, and further information reveals he matches the exact same description. Um, both video surveillance and the video from inside the vehicle both match, uh, so it is a positive ID, so a judge uh, granted us a search warrant for the premises. Um, it'll be for a Bill Plaston. He lives at 308 Magellan Avenue in Vespucci. Um, he does have a vehicle registered to him. It is a Ford F-250. Uh, it has the license plate 
Mike Lima Foxheart Lincoln 0821. Um, and he does have uh, two weapons registered to him. It would be a pistol and a shotgun. So uh, just be uh, ready in case something happens. Okay. Yeah. So we will arrive there and. Yep, go ahead. Has he got any known affiliates or anything? The Anyone else possibly going to be in the residence? Not that I know of, no. Um, his record's pretty clean. Um, he looks just to be a loner from what we've gathered. Right, okay. So uh, we'll, sh we'll, uh, we'll set up. Let me just take a look at where we're going to set up and then we'll execute. It. Okay. All right, so what we can do is set up around three oh six, three oh seven. Um, leave our car. Is there and might take a walk, see if anyone's around the premises, and uh, then we'll take it from there and execute the search warrant, and hopefully uh, we'll catch our guy. Okay. All right. Are we all ready? Questions? Uh, I'm good. I've got no questions. Perfect. Anyone else? Nothing here. All good. Ready to go. All right. We're good to go. The search warrant is in effect. Okay. We're gonna park this down here. X3, when can we call you? Must be advised. I'm just gonna do a loop around the property, see if there's any vehicles there. Uh, all of you can stay put where you are. Everyone tell me all units be advised there is a Chevrolet pickup truck I believe I saw. So there might possibly be someone at the location. I'm just gonna flip around, go back to 306, and uh, we'll execute the search warrant. I believe he I believe she wants to just roll in there hard and heavy on foot. Is the go. I believe TR2 and her are parked on the other side of this road, but this might be TR2 coming this way now. Yep, yeah, it is. So we'll just wait for Roberts and then we'll go from there. Okay, so did a little survey of the area. There is a Chevrolet pickup truck parked there. Um, there's actually two of them, and there's another one roaming around that I don't know if they're related or not. But I think we can just move in. All right. So you're thinking there might be two individuals in there? Possibly. I don't know if they're related, but they're they're two of the same trucks. Okay, so it's possibly same occupied cars, times two. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, whenever you're ready, then. Yep. I say uh, we're good to go now. Just uh, gear up, have weapons ready. All right. I'm ready. All right, let's go. Do we want to shoot down along the beach, in, like in front of the shops here, and then come up? Might see us from the road. Yeah, probably. If there's an alleyway that, in the middle there, we'd be right, but yeah, we'll just go right. Yeah. Metro 535. 535 Metro. Show us moving up to the residence at 308 on foot from postal 305, 306. Yeah, I think he went to grab a bigger gun. 
Oh. Should we wait for him or just move on? Uh, I'll probably wait for him. Okay. Being organized probably isn't one of his best suits, you know? Yeah, I've heard uh, he wants to not have his weapon on him. I've heard the same thing. Oh, look, there he goes. 518535, we're up the other end. Uh, what is the other end? We're on the footpath, yep. Alright, I think we're good now. Yep, we're good. Let's go. Well, at least it's quiet down here on the footpath tonight. Yeah. yeah. That's true. 2 a.m. Good time for a raid. Yeah, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Perfect time for a raid. Hopefully we'll catch him while he's sleeping. Mm-hmm. That would be ideal. Like they say, the early bird gets the worm. I'm just started. What was that? I don't know. The vehicle started. It was weird. I'm not sure I didn't hear it. Well, hopefully this goes to plan. Yeah. Oh, well, McGee came equipped. He's brought the med kit on his back. Good. Perfect. Uh huh. And some zip ties. Worried you might break a nail, officer. Yeah. <laughs> I love to hell. Love giving him shit. When does anything ever go to plan, though? Hmm. You're not wrong. Hey, Roberts, you might want to let McGee go in front of you. He's got a bigger vest. Yeah, yeah. Men always have to go first. Us pretty girls, we don't want to get hurt, you know? Mm, not wrong. X-ray, sure it's moving into the premise. One, two, eight, ten, four. Units moving into the premises. That vehicle clear? Couple of scooters down here. Uh, B B three. Oh god damn it! I didn't have it. Roberts. Oh, I had that one. Roberts. Five thirty five shell is making entry. Five three five ten four entry. Roberts. I don't have that one either. Just got the plate. Yeah. Copy. Forty six. Oh, I hear you. voices. Push oh the my not God. Working. Put there for your dumb. Fucking Brenda, whatever her name is. You ready? 535, I'm ready when you guys are. Oh, I'm right. sorry, I forget. I had that number too. Oh, shut up. Funny. Uh, uh, Santos, LSPD, please LSPD, please search hands warrant. Up. LSPD, LSPD, search LSPD. warrant. Hands up, hands up, hands oh up. Oh my god. Game, hands man. up, hands up. LSPD, LSPD. search warrant. Oh my god. Everybody's <laughs> hands up. LSPD, oh, search oh, warrant. Hands up, uh, now. Clear. Somebody clear right, this sir, face the wall. Face the wall, sir. Copy, I'm on you. LSPD! Clear. Copy. Oh my goodness. This is gonna give me a heart attack. Did we clear the bedroom? Just keep uh, your the hands. Keep yeah, your I've hands cleared up. that. I'm moving and you got me. Copy. Copy. No, I guess. Sir, turn around. Push it left. 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 Push
In the building. In the yeah. building. Ah. Yeah, yeah we've entry. made safe entry. What are they doing up at 3 in the morning Five, nearly? Four. Jesus! Three times three subjects. These old bats, look at them. What am I stuck on? Is there something what there? What did I do? I'm like stuck. Oh, why are you we'll explain in a minute. We have a we have a search warrant for this premises. We'll explain in a minute. Everyone, just stay calm, please. Deborah, help! I don't know what's going on. I just won a friendly game of bingo. I almost won again. I kicked your right, ass sir, twice. Come with me. Yeah, and I almost won again. Come You're on. Wait in my bingo game. Don't touch my cards. Uh, that lady behind you still has the gun pointed at us. Oh, I know. Shit. I don't like this. We're gonna die. Ma'am, just oh, shh. Ma'am, can I just Ma'am, shh. Just keep your hands up. We're too old for this. Ma'am, ma'am, shh. The lady with the, the, the dark brown hair, I want you to stand up slowly with your hands up. Oh. She has a Ow. hip issue. Yeah, it's okay. My hips are... Okay, okay. Listen. My hips are... Shh. Listen. Shh. Slowly walk backwards to the officer with the br the blonde hair with the glasses. Slowly move back to him. I can't walk backwards. You... I'll fall on my face, but okay. What was that? You'll be fine. Just take okay. it slow. Just take it slow. Yeah, yeah I have a okay. pistol on. Move back slowly. Move back slowly. Uh, what? It's in my waistband. My belt. Uh, an ID? My hip. Uh, I can't yeah, I have an ID. I can't. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta do this. Just, just oh, turn around right there, man. Man with the uh, with the gray hair. Stand up slowly. Keep your hands up. It's hard. I don't have a choice but to stand up slowly. So, yep. Yep. Stand up slowly. You got this. Uh, uh, oh. Ow. Oh god. I failed. Jesus Ow. fucking Christ. That hurt. Yeah, Alright, slowly, slowly move back to the sound of my voice. Slowly move back. Oh, you gotta guide me a little bit. I don't have eyes on the back of my head. Slowly, yep, okay, come and keep coming. Oh. That'll do. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. This is why is, I can't win bingo. If you weren't wearing sunglasses in the night time, you might be able to see a bit better. They're not sunglasses, these are my They're prescription glasses. lenses! Okay. Well, oh, her. They're the they look awfully tinted. They're the transition right. lenses. Alright, ma'am, you come this way with me. Come over here in this corner. Have you got anything on you gonna stick, Pogo, hurt me? No! Alright, face away. Wee. What are you doing at this residence? What am I doing? Just, Just uh, hang tight, ma'am. Playing bingo, okay. Come over here every weekend. I can't stand this long. Okay. I'm gonna hit fall. What's your name, ma'am? I'm Rose just Marie. Let the other female officer finish, it's and then Marie, uh, what? Uh, they'll search you, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Rose Marie. Oh boy. Rose Marie, okay, Marie. Face away from me. Oh, okay. There's no weapons or anything in this in this apartment, is there? That you that you're aware of? You don't know where any weapons or anything are. Not that I know of. I just come over to play bingo. Alright, I'm gonna take these cuffs off you, but you try anything stupid and you'll be back in them, okay? Go ahead and sit right there on the mat. Just go and sit on the ground. Get comfortable. Yeah, okay. Uh, Officer Harbour, can you just watch her? Yeah, if you wanna search this. Ma'am, you got anything on you that's gonna Who stick poke behind me? Have you got anything on you that's gonna stick poke behind uh, me? No. Face away then. My hip might. My hip might hurt you, I don't know. Okay. My hips are so old, I'm only 86. My hips are so old, I'm only 86. Okay, got it. Alright, what's your name? Deborah. Deborah what? Javalia. Deborah Travalia. Okay, hang on there for a sec, don't move. I was just gonna get bingo. Metro 535. Five three five metric gun. Can I get times two twenty seven twenty nine checks when ready? Oh, five three five with first. Can I at least sit down? Can My hips are ten nine. Go. Get with the first. Uh, it's gonna be Rose Marie. Okay, so 
We did have a search warrant. Third What'd you say your name was, ma'am? Yeah, can you I step are... over here? Debra Chevalia. Debra Chevalia. Five three five ten four. One Rosemary. Female white. Gray hair. Born two oh eight thirty nine. Uh, no oh. priors. No CCWs. Uh, two registered vehicles at 903 Barbara Road. Cargent Barbarino uh, Road. Looks at the center. How loud you Clear can no warrants. Copy. Second name is going to be a Debra Travolia. Yeah, we need Whiskey to find Mike, a new brown one. Hair. She's claimed she's I mean, 86. Everyone we've gone to, we've gotten harassed by these stupid weirdos with guns. Stupid weirdos with guns. There it is. What? Ten four one Debra Travolia. Between the weirdos. Uh, female white. Gray oh, hair, 93 hey. PG Canyon Road, uh, Lane County, Los Santos, correction, Blaine County, San Andreas, valid driver's license, no priors, no warrants, and title of registered vehicle. Copy, she's clean. Never. Same traffic for roads. Never. Copy, thanks. All right, Debra, I want you to go and sit over next to Rose, okay? Go and sit on the carpet right next to Rose for me. Oh, I have to sit next to her, okay? Yeah, well, you were sitting next to her when I, we came in, so I'm not sure what the issue is. I was sitting across from her for your information. Yeah, fuck you. How do the two of you know Bill? What? I don't know. How do the two of you know I Bill? I hear the question. He's our bingo oh. guy. Yeah, he's literally just doing our bingos. We've been coming over, like I said, every other week or so. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Um, right. How long have you known Bill for? Probably like a couple months. Uh, a couple months. Okay. About three, maybe. I don't know. I lose track of time easily, so... Do you guys like always... A couple months could even be a year. Alright, do you guys always play bingo at like 2 o'clock in the morning? I mean, it's 3 a.m. now, like... You guys always play bingo this early? We, we have nothing better to do. Right, okay. We started earlier. Since like midnight. Yeah, we started at midnight and we've been going for a while. Right, okay. Alright, just hang out, don't move, ladies. Got a problem with this playing bingo? Ah, oh. uh, what's going on, detective? I was gonna so, win, uh, this too. Is, this is the... Just hang on a second. Oh, shut up. Can you two just please be quiet? Please, just just shush for a moment. Please. Continue. So this is the subject we're looking for. This is Mr. Bill Plasson, and... I'm just gonna probably go take him to the car to the station and... Put him in questioning for now. Are we gonna oh, finish our bingo game? Debra, please! For the love of goodness, just be quiet for a moment so I can hear. We can finish it if you visit me. Bill, just be quiet for a moment. I'm talking, the grown ups are talking, okay? Um, has he confessed, Roberts? Not yet, says it doesn't sound like him, but. Oh, it's a pity. Alright, yep. Take yeah, him to the car then. Go question him. Mm hmm. Cat, let's go. Alright. You two ladies hang out there. Let's go. Just follow me. Can we finish bingo? Hey Walter, do you want them to stay in your residence or do you want them to leave? Huh? Are, are you talking to me? Yes, yes do you want them to- do you want these old ladies to stay in your residence or do you want them to go? They can stay. Okay. The TV makes static noises. Um, let's go. Yeah, it looks like an old piece of shit. Hope you brought your walking shoes. All right, let's let's search the house. The search warrant covers the house and him. So, you two ladies, you stay right there. You understand me? We're gonna oh, continue, continue we're gonna bingo. bingo. Never shut up. All right, I'm just gonna warn you, it is a little bit of a walk, so I'm just gonna grab your arm, let's go. If you try anything, I'll tase you. I might even shoot you. Uh, you wanna watch them, Harper? Yep. Yep. Oh, Brandon. 
Uh, name's Hubert, I think. Or Hugh. Hubert, something like that. Oh my goodness, these old people. Be quiet. <laughs> goodness. Oh, that Deborah lady, she doesn't shut up. It's like a broken record. Show me with one ten fifteen headed back to station for questioning. One two eight ten four times one subject ten fifteen. You're heading back to this if you need to correct. Um, uh, negative. That'll be uh, mission room. Ten four. Oh, there we go. See if they have anything else in here. This bedroom's clear. Anything in here, McGee? This, uh. I think this is meant to be a bedroom, but it looks like they took the bed out. Uh, yeah. And I'm not finding any. Okay, he said he had registered guns, but I haven't found any guns in the back bedroom there. I don't see anything in this cupboard. Yeah, I didn't see nothing. I've got a bookshelf over here. My favorite stores are cards, look, so that's what the problem is. What? Well, maybe you'll just have to look for a third person to help you with your bingo game. No, that's way too close. Well, maybe that other officer over there will help us. No, I'm extremely busy. I think uh, Officer Hopper is uh, laid off soon, I think, or something. Yeah, his shift ends probably oh, soon. Well, Oh my. Nothing in the bookshelf, a DVD player, and some other books and crap. All right, ladies. Uh, I wouldn't touch those cards on there. Oh, okay. What's on them? What? Uh, they were a bit wet when I looked up. Oh. Okay. Um, I've got nothing for these two ladies. Um, they're just here playing bingo, so uh, you guys can let them go. I'm gonna go head to Roberts. Copy. Alright. Alright, so... We can take the gloves off. We're gonna head down to the station to Detective Roberts and we're gonna help her interview... Um... Plaston. Hey! So... Up. Ah, that, my hip! Oh, Watch my hips are hurt! That old bitch, she don't my shut hip. up. I oh, swear to on? goodness. No, I don't no. think we took him off, did we? No. They, no they... She does not shut up, the old girl. But anyway, we're gonna head down to VPD and we'll start the interrogation with Plaston if um, Julie hasn't already begun. What you got? All right, so I'm just uh, booking him in. I'm just questioning him. Uh, I just mainly want to know why uh, Elwood Belushi's car was at his property. If I believe Elwood Belushi's dead. Well, yeah, the Chevy's registered to Elwood, which is at his property, and then was the pickup, the other pickup truck there when you did a drive-by? Because I thought you said there was two trucks there. The other one was driving around. Uh, I'm not sure where it went, but... Uh, was it a truck or a muscle car? I never got a plate on it. No, it was the exact same type of vehicle as the one in the... that was parked at the address. So it was another Chevy? Not sure if it was related. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was related or not, because he does have a... He has an F-250 registered to him. And yeah, well, as you left, I saw you leave, and then there was like a muscle car that hit his headlight straight on and yeeted through past me as well, so I don't know if it's related, because it's sitting out there in an alleyway. Mm. So it kind of looks like that he that's... may have followed you here. That's a little weird. Yeah, he had a red ball cap, white shirt, white mail. Hmm. Have you spoken to Plaston? Not yet. I'm just going to talk to him and ask him about that day, see if he confesses. But I mean, with the video we have, we pretty much have a closed case. Yeah. All right. You going in there now? Yep. Let's do it. All 
All right, uh, Sir Plaston, we have a few questions for you today. All right. I'm Lieutenant Henry. So you know this is Detective you're... Roberts, just in case you didn't know. Yes. So do you know why you're here, Mr. Plaston? Not fully. So uh, we have uh, footage of you uh, stealing a vehicle, an Audi R8, blue in color. Do you remember that? I suppose I do. Oh, oh. That, that's not didn't funny. even have to do so back up. Video footage of you being in the car, so. Perfect. All right, just another question. Uh, do you know an Elwood Belushi? Mm-hmm. And how do you know him? Buddy at work. Okay. Is uh, is Mr. Belushi alive? I heard he uh, he got into a really horrible accident. Mm, he's in the hospital last time I checked. Mm, okay. Hmm, that's interesting because our records show he's deceased. He died. Yeah. A week ago, in a shot? police officer involved shooting in some street racing, he was pronounced dead at the scene. So I guess my question is: Is why is his car now at your property, considering he's dead? Yeah, that's what we want to know. I mean, he always lets me use his truck. Or maybe you thought you'd steal that as well. Yeah. No, I've been using this truck for the last month now. Right. He always drives around some other fancy looking car. Okay. So, I just want to backtrack a little bit. So, you, you he has had his rights read to him, correct, Roberts? Yes. Right. Yep. So, so you, you are telling us that you are the one who robbed, or not robbed, you stole the blue Audi R8 up in Clinton Avenue in the car park? You're confirming that was you? And then ran... Mm -hmm. And then you ran from the police after it locked the car was fully shut down on you? Yes. You're aware that a police officer was injured and put in critical condition from a shooting that you are a conspirator of, considering you were aiding in that crime? Listen, no one was supposed to get hurt. I, I didn't know nobody got shot. So... Okay. It's supposed to be a simple walk and take. You got anything else for him, Roberts? That's about all I need to know. Oh. Um, no, that's pretty much it. We got him. Well, thanks, Mr. Plaston. Appreciate your cooperation. Can I... Yeah. Am I free to go? Yeah. No, no, <laughs> Are you free to go? You, yeah. <laughs> well, what, to go to what about... What about bail? Do I get that? You listen here, you uh, scumbag. There's a police officer in the hospital with life-threatening injuries, and you're asking, can you go home? You stole a car, and your friend shot at police, including one of my detectives. No, you cannot go. I, I did not partake in any shooting. Did not partake? That's what they chose to do. Uh, that's what they chose to do. You're a conspirator, my dude.